being a black folks and basically leaving off where we ended on the last video and yes it takes 15 mini videos because everybody has short attention span theater now this is the CME that came off just recently uh, and also you can see the glancing blow I'm going to take you some other footage and you'll be able to see that now the most important thing is to pay attention to what I've been telling you here is to watch your positive polarity if we get all our polarity our positive or negative off of the Sun okay now we do get a little bit of interference energy sometimes from because the Sun gets bling bling from other stars there's the super giants there's way more than one Sun wake up and realize we call the Sun the Sun okay but there's way more than one Sun and it's a DNA strip of electrical birth of the Milky Way galaxy and any galaxy that's out there okay? it's all electrical and it's all static lines and as you watch you can see you'll keep a track of the blue as it goes around and it ends up being the greenish bluish this is our negative polarity okay I don't know if I can follow it around fast enough with my cursor here okay and then you have the positive polarity okay which is the red on the outside line see that outside edge as it changes the very little thin line on the very outside with the numbers okay okay latitude and longitude okay so now you also get it here it, it all the way when it, it stays with it as it comes around here now if you, if you notice over here you're actually going to get and see that there was actually a huge Sun I'm showing you actual factual space data where no matter what anybody wants to lie to you if you watch the 360 the 3d IMF line you will see that this is the Sun over here there is a super giant star yes Rigel Cantaris yep formal hot and then it's hard to know how it breaks up but this is the Sun's positive okay this is the Sun's positive as you watch over here it all stays together one band okay because it's the positive polarity okay the positive polarity of the Sun okay this is Earth here and this is our CME that we're going to be getting and then I'm going to give you some data real fast and give you some earthquake information and then I'm going to go back and I'm hopefully going to throw in the latest shot that someone took of the moon on the earth that will make you realize and I'll also show you some, a little bit of footage from uh, basically planetoid object that's above the Sun right now because you can't miss the magnetic line and I got it even getting caught off a webcam okay we got it getting caught off a webcam and you know the magnetic alliance of what anything that's in this, our solar system I've showed you that in the last video okay so no matter what as you watch this come around and as I, you actually see at some points in time right now we are getting magnetical connection and then what someone's gonna say is all oh, this well it's the same positive polarity all these three and no they're not they're separate polarities and what you'll do is you'll visualize and you'll believe that the idea okay well it's the it's the the three like when, when you ever see three on here but you don't really see three you only really see two sometimes you'll see three now there's three but what this is is the positive connection to other super giant stars out there okay because when you're not when you don't have a CME coming off you see the positive connection of a tri star it's just and that's how we on earth we have our electrical we have three phases of electrical D uh, I'll get you confused if I start showing you that the over in Europe they have one one more phase okay now so your three on your positive polarity I'm gonna get too much into electrical for you guys because I'm trying to give everybody a layman's basically look at everything okay so actual factual we wrote up to rotate again over here and we will watch your electrical okay it's not just the Sun this is the Sun all the time right here you can see that okay you see how this always stays right here on the 3d these other two and remember these are only one dimensional here so they're only showing you the Sun's connection and also when that's showing you on the 360 degree map you can't see the separation because it's just stays solid positive polarity to Earth which is our North Pole all the time on that red ring that's going around there see so I can simplify scientific data that you see pictures because pictures are like flashcards to teach people and then that's Earth there and our magnetical connection are positive and negative okay 
as you see, and then poop. And our negative and positive is always switching on the sun. As you'll see the center, you watch the negative and positive polarity on the sun also right there. And then sometimes it does massive shifts. Okay? So when it does, when the, when the, in the sun rotates like 70 some hours in a day, okay? I'm uh, not going to have time. I might have time in the next one on, on the, showing you the pictures of the moon where you'll see the stars glimmering down just like they glimmer on the satellites because a guy caught a certain famous satellite with the moon. And then you're going to see the, how starlight from way out in space is always bleeding onto a planet or object, planetoid object, or anything in space, i.e. a satellite. So no matter what, there is your positive polarity out there that is not, can be a combination of the sun, but the positive that's always connected to Earth is right there. Okay, that's our always positive connected right there. And hopefully these two, because they have to stay connected, because this is what keeps the sun connected to the Milky Way galaxy, which keeps it connected to another supergiant, which is probably uh, uh, Rigel, Alpha Centauri. So more than likely, this is probably Alpha Centauri when you see the small down here in the corner. Okay, that's probably Alpha. And then, then this is probably one of the Rigels. This large magnetic magnetical line there. Okay, so getting out of this. Uh, let's just pop, I guess, real fast to 125, and you can always watch this at the ISWA, ISWA, okay, ISA. A lot of people have their different nicknames for it and everything like that. Okay, so that's our CME that's coming in on us. Let me give you another uh, date and time on this, because this one moves fast for people to keep an eye on their date and time to see when it comes in and hits and so forth. And remember, folks, when I'm showing you this in the last video, yes, this here is will be a different spot and it's still going to be electrical connections from other suns that are huge out in the space. And i.e. I can make this go to black and basically what that is is electrical energy, light curvature, DC current, straight line current. Ask any electrician, ask any welder, okay? Straight line DC current. That's why certain people you don't get too close to because they might have something in their pocket that will give them a nice straight line to hell, okay? So basically actual factual. there's electrical energy coming in and I made it go to black okay and it's just basically data this is actual space data out there for you I can pump this up 400 real fast so I don't want to waste too many minutes on this because I already showed in the last video now there's the freeze frame that they show and I guess basically when I pump up I really can't get it so I, the first time I tried to do that in this video so that's why you, you'll realize that me doing that uh, is not going to give me this when you were seeing it in the small player. So you'll just have to always watch on full screen and you'll see these and then uh, all electrical energy and stuff coming in. So they've been showing you basically freeze frame in there that was playing there. And then let's hurry up and get to some of our uh, data that we have up in space here on earthquakes. Okay. And basically I went to it pretty fast here. So I got ANF set up and then I'll hurry up and get this up off. As you can see, New Madrid area has been hella busy. California picked up like I said it was going to. I still think a little bit more for California. I don't know what we'll get in magnitude. If we haven't been that high, but you know, LA has been a little nervous and they've getting a little bit more action and stuff like that. And it's calmed down a little bit now and so forth. Hopefully maybe here on out, there won't be much anymore for a while. Uh, but as you can see, Alaska's picked up. And uh, let's go to the most current. It is kind of a calm day today. Uh, and you can always see my time usually on the right hand lower if I go to a certain window uh, It doesn't even really matter what time we look like an eye eyeball, you know, we rotate and then remember this is a light side towards the Sun so and then the, uh, Remember north and south that's north that's south and then uh, That's our pole and then dark on the one side uh, and remember that uh, the south is your negative polarity and uh your positive polarity is on top and you can see that basically the eyeball or plasma field out here way out in front is been heated up a little bit but we ain't we, we don't we don't have a high uh we don't have a high polar angle right now we've calmed down on our polar angle so as our little bit of a turn uh we're in a light light uh spiral bullet of a rotation around the sun right now uh from what we were on a tight spiral uh coming back towards the sun uh, as now we'll get closer to the sun during the summer solstice and so forth so that there 
and let me see what I've got here. We've got earthquake action here. I can get into real fast. I'm back a few days. Uh, we had Papua New Guinea area and so forth. Let me get up on size here a little bit. Hope this doesn't mess up on us. There we go. In current proton absorption, I can hit refresh on this too, but as you can see, if you read your guide, we're getting into the 8 area. And basically, uh, I got another map that I'll show you that we basically factually are getting uh, northern Brazil and uh, Mariana Trench area will damn well get another quake today. Mariana Trench, you can guarantee that there's going to be a quake. Not sure what magnitude, but there will be a quake because factual, actual, I think I can give you that right there. Okay, and then I can pop back to, and as you can see, probably the mid-Atlantic, or I mean, yeah, the lower, lower Atlantic Ocean, they'll get something out there too. And then factual, we'll get back in here, and I think we should be able to get to page by page of what I had going on for quake activity. Uh, I'm not sure if I got down in the, the first page again. Uh, we'll scoot over here. Everybody knows it's 2013. And then Chiapas, Mexico had some action. I'll we'll get down or find what. And remember that magnitude is this is your magnitude of your quake. Watch that line there. Then I'll I'll pop back through my pages. I think it'll be able to to register faster. And apologize for a little bit of time lapse in here, but we'll get through these pages real fast. So the idea that we'll get back down to that we've got uh, some six pointers of late, also like Russia and so forth. There, that's Russia. Okay, there we go. Six point seven there, and uh, remember that actual six point seven, not a six point five or whatever that USGS. They always take a couple ticks off. USGS is a joke because the idea they don't give you the actual what something hits. If I hit a bass drum with something, or if I hit a drum with a drumstick, I am a drummer, okay? Uh, people who are into electrical guitars, electrical instruments, they know that I can control. When I'm playing, you got to have a good drummer that you like or that gets along a little bit because the idea the drummer is the one that controls the beat. He can get ahead of, he can create electrical energy by hitting a, or energy basically okay it's stored and he can the bass drummer the bass the bass player is the only one that can try to override the drummer but the drummer is actually quicker you see so that's where and I'm an electrician too so then basically the timing and uh, yes so a signal a drummer can always set out a faster signal than a electrical Unless you move at light speed, that's correct. Unless you have fiber optic. If you had a fiber optic line on your musical instruments, then you'd have a faster signal. And then finding an electric guitar player could finally get ahead of the drummer a little bit, right? You see? <laughs> so anyway, uh, it's always the one that controls the beat. It's all about control. SCADA, ladies and gentlemen. Supervisor control and data acquisition. Okay? You know, knows it very well. And let's see what we've got here on Japan. I think was the today. This is the freshest we've got right here. And I'll even refresh the page. So we've got had, you know, we've been getting the earthquake action that you know that we've been getting. Uh, I showed you the US one with New Madrid and stuff getting its action and so forth. So, and it's all electrical, okay? Because that's that nuclear uh now when i give you this shot like this too you'll realize that everything i've been showing you about how clear they can see from satellites out in space with photos and so forth okay and this is a put together image make a movie right of all the pictures they get the data and then they can flow it like a movie okay and then it's filters and it's in black and white so they can actually view the sun there's an actual shot ladies and gentlemen of the sun and they can get a little bit closer too and it'll look like a bunch of ants crawling around on a but it's just basically a nuclear at basically this is a nuclear atom it's the core of a of a nuclear reactor out in space and it's our sun okay and then it's burning and uh that's all electrical energy that you see from all the sechi movies that i show you okay and i'll get into sechi here and we'll probably have a bunch of videos today so make sure you watch all the videos because newton's law is only right on mass okay because the idea everything's electrically connected and if we didn't have electrical connection we wouldn't have our gravity we'd be even worse than the moon or we'd be a little bit more gravity than the moon 
But the idea, if we didn't have the sun, we would be floating. Nothing would, even a large...